to West Alabama tonight where investigators in Tuscaloosa County want to know who shot a dog and left it for dead. CBS 40's U News reporter Tim Reed has that story tonight from our Tuscaloosa newsroom and we want to warn you the video you're about to see might be disturbing to some viewers. A Tuscaloosa County family is angry and wants police to catch whoever is responsible for shooting their dog. The animal is at home recovering, but there's a chance he may not survive. Amy Ferris and her family are devastated and are wondering why anyone would pull out a gun and shoot their lovable pet dog they call Max. We had assumed that he was maybe in a dog fight or something because it didn't look like a gunshot wound. And after taking him to the vet, um, they discovered that there was a bullet still inside of him. Ferris tells us on Friday her fiance saw a trail of blood on their driveway at their house and he couldn't find Max. After she got home, she found the black lab in the backyard and he had a large wound on his neck. I mean, I, I really don't know what to think about it. We're all just still kind of in shock. I know that my kids are very upset about it. I have three little boys and um, they're real concerned about. Max, so seeing them get upset over their dog, you know, upsets me. The Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office is actively investigating and searching for whoever is responsible for hurting the animal. Authorities did not want to talk to us on camera about the case. This family just wants whoever did the crime to be punished. I've lived here for 20 years. We've always had dogs. We've had Max for nine years, and everyone around just knows them as, you know, the, the neighborhood dog. They know th th that he's ours and he would never hurt anybody. Authorities are asking if anyone has any information about this case to call the sheriff's office. In Tuscaloosa County, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.